Hi guys, Broken Prodigy here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my settings of my Hapog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I want to say is you guys need to make sure that you have the Hapog devices. I, what is this called? Hold on. I always forget what this thing's called. Uh, Control Shift Escape. Hit on the keyboard and go to processes, well actually not you, but I'm going to go to processes. And right here, Hapog device central service. These two need to be running. And the reason I'm bringing this up is to answer some questions I've seen on the internet about people hitting the record button and it not working. And you need these open. I think you need both of them. Um, I, I know you need one of them. <laughs> so let's just go let's just say we need both of them so both of these need to be running in order to record via the record button on the HAPOG and once that okay so that's okay that's good I'm good with that moving on second thing I've seen on the internet that I wanna kinda touch base with and let you guys know is uh, I've seen some people have problems with the screen freezing on the computer or recording gameplay and it freezing and I had the same issue and the problem for me was the USB cord coming out from the back of the HAPOG into the uh, computer was not secure. So make sure that that uh, USB cord is very secure into whatever it's plugged into, whether it be a USB hub or your actual computer, because if that jiggles at all or comes loose, then uh, it will mess up your gameplay. If you're, of course, live streaming, doing anything, it, it's going to mess it up. Okay, so with that aside, now we can go ahead and jump into the settings of the HUBHOG. So I'm going to open up my ArcSoft Showbiz. Go over here to Capture. Give this a minute. Come on. Sometimes it'll load, sometimes it won't. There we go. And it. All right, and as you see here, everything is working. Very nice. And uh, I'm just going to go right into format settings. All right. And right here you'll see the info. You can look at the hardware model. Go to the uh, encoder menu here. Now I don't touch anything here. Uh, analog boost is checked by default. If it's not checked, you probably don't have the most uh, recent firmware. Just one sec. My throat is parched. much better okay yeah you don't have the most recent firmware but everything in here is default I don't touch it at all I'm gonna go over here to video encoder now this I have messed with the default here is 8-bit uh, rate by 9 8 megabytes by 9 megabytes peak and this really depends on your computer um, I go all the way up to 14 and I don't have a power horse of a computer I have a HD uh, I'm sorry, HD, H HP DM4 laptop. It has six gigs of RAM. It runs a i5, a Intel Core i5, 2.4 gigahertz processor, and it's Windows 7 Ultimate. And I have an integrated graphic card. I mean, it's nothing special. 64 megabytes of dedicated memory, and it's actually really funny because the program. ArcSoft requires 512 megabytes of dedicated memory. So I don't know. Um, I, it works just fine. Like I said, I have a Intel HD graphics card. Whoop! Yay! Can I give you know, a thumbs up for those of you out there that have uh, integrated graphic cards that know how it sucks? Anyway, moving on. So uh, 14 megabytes bitrate is what I do, and I just max it out, keep it on constant, and really have no problem. If you have any kind of choppiness at all, you can lower it down. Uh, probably 10, you know, right in here somewhere, make the max like 11. You know, just kind of mess with it, personal preference. All right, go up here to dynamic noise reduction. You can mess around with the uh, static levels in this. I leave everything here, just, just the way it is. Go over here to the HAPOG version. You can see the most recent version. Um, if you don't have the most recent version, you can pick it up at the on the HIPOGS website. And I'll put in a little annotation here, or maybe in the uh, description. Who knows? 
I might forget. All right, you go to audio properties, it's uh, 192. It's on stereo, and I can't really change the CRC state. You know, let's see, audio, audio sampling, I leave it 48. I think the default was 41, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Feel free to correct me. So I'll put it here on 48. Go over here to video properties, which is pretty much the same thing, except you can change the GOP, which I don't know what that is. Um, the games on, games on parade. I, I don't know. So I leave that alone. And go ahead and hit apply. Hit OK. It'll, uh, whoa, 2,962 channels? Yes. It's like super HD. Ah, oh, there we go. And I do have the uh, hardware acceleration checked. Um, I have this muted. Uh, and I'll get back to that later. And that's really it, guys. For this and go in here to device settings it's you know pretty much the same thing you've got your video encoder uh, you can you know if you're not you can change all kinds of uh, the PAL and NTSC I just leave it at a uh, the default and then you can mess with the brightness your contrast um, sharpness I don't really mess with anything I, I might turn down the brightness if uh, some of the videos I'm doing are a little bright but for the most part I keep it the same so go ahead get out of here and I think that is it for this I did have something uh, I wanted to uh, show you guys um, for those of you out there who like live streaming and you don't have the money to maybe pay for uh, a premium account of XSplit Hapog has a really cool beta program out I'm gonna show it to you guys go ahead and open up my Google Chrome here and I've already got the uh, website loaded I'll put a link in the description <laughs> description <laughs> description or I might just pop it up in a annotation on the screen here somewhere so uh, if you go to uh, this website uh, it's the Hapog main website and you can get there yeah I went to products I clicked on HD PVR2 gaming edition and as you can see right here you can see this thing called stream easy and you can uh, download the installation CD right here or from an alternate site and uh, if you don't know how to download stuff then you probably yeah anyway so download it and we'll get to installing it here in just a minute and it is a like I said it is a beta program from Hapog that turns your Hapog HD PVR into a live streaming device you can live stream straight from your Xbox PS3 whatever you have hooked up to your favorite uh, streaming service Twitch uh, Ustream own 3d you can only stream to one channel or I should say one streaming service but it is I gotta say it is amazing the quality is hands down well for me it's 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 amazing it's uh, I like I said I don't have the best computer and I do have a premium account for XSplit but I don't get the quality of streaming that I want really really choppy so I use this at times the only downfall is is it those of you probably already know yeah the Hapag doesn't pick up your own voice um, it'll pick up your friends and everybody else but not yours uh, there is a way around it but it kinda costs money which I don't have so this is a really good alternative so let me go ahead and show you guys let me go ahead and just uh, bring up the uh, installation now I have already installed it but I will go ahead and reinstall this for you guys just to show you I'm going to try to keep this video short, so let's try to get through this as quick as possible. So if you've already installed it, go ahead and open it up. You'll get to this right here. Hit next. Go ahead and uh, if you want to just hit next and install, if you want to install it somewhere else, go to browse. You got the drop down menu. You can put it, you know, if you have external hard drives. Okay, so there we go. Go ahead and hit next. excuse me and hit whatever language you would like and of course step one is install drivers and as this little box says do make sure that your HD your, I keep calling it the HD PVR whatever we're gonna call it the HD PVR because I get tired of saying Hapog HD PVR 2 gaming edition so it is now the HD PVR 
All right, and uh, just make sure it's plugged in to uh, your computer with the uh, USB cable. Hit OK. And you should see a little window up here. It'll tell you it's searching for hardware and updating drivers. If you're really bored, you can hit this little box right here and watch everything go. Yay! All right, when it's done, you'll see this. Um, the drivers have been updated successfully. Changes will take effect after you restart your computer. Click to exit. Um, I'm not going to restart it. I'll restart when everything's done. All right, so go ahead and go to step two, and that's installing the Stream Easy software. You'll see a little window here. Go ahead and left click on the next button. All right. Extracting and installing. This could take some time depending on your computer. For the most part, though, it's pretty quick. Under a minute, I do believe. You could always go uh, make a cup of coffee or a bowl of cereal. Oh, there we go. We're done. All right, you'll get this little thing telling you that uh, you did a really good job and installed it. If you want to check out their Facebook page or other stuff, it's all right here. If you don't want to register, you can click this button. I'm going to go ahead and say reboot later. And you're done. We'll go ahead and close this. And I'm going to double click this here and open it up. What? No. If you get this, just say, hey, the program installed correctly, stupid Windows. I mean, I love you, Windows. All right, and go ahead and open it up, and you should get this uh, this little box, box this, this window. Um, you've got your HTTP VR, your serial number, which I probably are going to blur out and when I, yeah. <laughs> so if you're not recording in HDMI, and you're like, oh, no, what do we do? Just, just go over here, click the uh, unlock on the lock, and you can then change whatever you're using for your audio or video. You can change your bandwidth. Uh, what streaming service you're using, your network connection. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just move the uh, D-pad on the Xbox, go home. I'm all yelling at you guys and the Xbox at the same time. All right, as you can see here, it is, uh, it is working. Cancel. I said cancel. Oh, I'm getting mad. Cancel. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm not mad anymore. So uh, right now it is off air. So once you get this all set up, you can go over here to Advanced, and if you just kind of want to look at some of the other stuff, you can you can unlock this, come in here and mess with some of the uh, some of the settings, not all of them. You get the quality; it tells you exactly what's going on. Your variable, average bit rate, two megabytes. 2.5 peak, you know, just all the, uh, and then of course your profiles that you can use. But you can only do one at a time, so that is a downfall. I know XSplit, a lot of people use it because when you stream, you could stream to three or four different streaming services. But like I said, this is a really good program for those of you who don't have the money to afford a premium account or whatnot. All right, so I'm getting sidetracked here. So let's go ahead and get out of, uh, there we go, go back to basic. And yeah, once you've got everything f filled out here, you just click this little red button right here. You'll see this little thing go round and round. And voila, you are now live streaming to your favorite streaming service. So I'll actually go ahead and show you guys. Go ahead and minimize here. Now you can, if you want to copy it for your friends, you can go ahead and just, let me scroll down here, left click on the copy stream link, or you can go straight to your, where you're broadcasting by clicking that. And no, we're not doing Halo 4. We are doing, oh God, I got to type all this. All right. If I could actually type. What? Oh, too many P's. No, two P's. Whatever. PVR2 Gaming Edition. Oh. 
to tut tutorial live stream exclamation points all right so just so you guys can see here let me try to navigate As you can see, it does work. Now, you won't be able to record your voice unless you have, I do believe, like a mix amp, or there is some other ways around it because the pod, like I said before, doesn't pick up your voice. But for the most part, if you just want to stream your, your gameplay, you can play some Minecraft, let some people watch. This is it. Stream easy. And it is, like I said, it's free. It is, on, it is in beta, or I think it's still in beta. Anyway, there you go. And when you're done, you just come here and uh, you can click that right there. Click the red button again, it will stop. And once you're off there, you can go ahead and close it down. All right, guys, that is pretty much it. If there was anything that I didn't cover that you would like me to, let me know in the comments below if this video helped you and you liked it of course let me know in the comments throw me a like it helps me out lets me know if you guys like this content or not and of course last but not least if you guys really want to subscribe it literally is just a click away so uh again guys i really hope you enjoyed the video thanks for uh stopping by and tuning in and i will see you guys later bye